Hello everyone, my name is Andre Nandi, the Bajoka Prophet, and today we're going to talk about a very interesting video in biochemistry, which is called Keto Body Formation and the Consequences of Ketosis. And before we, uh, we move ahead, on the board is a summary of what Keto Body is and what Ketosis of body talk about. Now, before we start Ketone body is mainly utilized during during the fast or when you undergo starvation. Your brain do not make use of the glucose, which is the major source of energy of fuel for the human body. Rather, ketone bodies are utilized. Now, what are ketone bodies? Now, ketone bodies are produced by the liver and used peripherally as an energy source when glucose is not readily available. That is when you have undergo excessive fasting. Now, during fatty, or we also define keto bodies as like during fatty acid oxidation in the liver, acetyl-CoA produced is what now is converted to what to acetoacetate the beta hydroxybutyrate, which is also called tyrihydroxybutyrate, which together with acetone are referred to as the ketone bodies. Meaning, we have three major uh, 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 products of the ketone bodies. We have the first one. We have the acetoacetate, T-hydroxybutyrate, also called D-beta-hydroxybutyrate, and acetone. These three uh, 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 compounds here are what form the ketone bodies. I will move quickly. That in the peripheral tissues that possesses mitochondria, the T-hydroxybutyrate can be oxidized. To give up now, to, to, uh, to give up the call acetoacetate, you get, which can be converted to acetyl-CoA, which then produces the energy utilized by the cell. Remember, I've told you that the acetyl-CoA is a central metabolite. Take note. Now, we we'll move quickly that unlike fatty acids, take note, unlike fatty acids, Keto bodies can be utilized by the brain. That is to say that the fatty acids cannot be utilized by the brain, but that the ketone bodies can be utilized by what? By the brain. And therefore, serve as an important fuel for, uh, uh, for the cells. And we said that the liver lacks the ability to degrade what? Ketone bodies. And because of that, he synthesizes these ketone bodies specifically. Take note of that major point. The liver lacks the ability to degrade ketone bodies and as such synthesizes them specifically for what now? For the peripheral of tissue. Now we then move quickly to what we call ketosis. What's ketosis? Ketosis can also be called ketoacidosis. In which the rate of formation of ketone bodies is greater than their rate of what now? Degradation or use or breakdown. And we said that under normal circumstances, glucose is what now? Glucose is the major source of energy. What now? Is the major source of energy that is being utilized by living cells for the production of what energy? But uh, during starvation, meaning when you are fasting, what happens? Ketone bodies becomes the brain major fuel source. And take note that the ketone bodies are water soluble equivalent of what are fatty acids. Please take note. That is why when a man has undergo excessive fasting. You wonder why they don't uh, like ah, 
the, the, the guy or the man is not dead. No. At that point in time, you can sense the you can literally detect the, the uh, acetone, which is uh, uh, which is which is a, 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 a keto body in their breath. So a man can fast for three for three days, four days without eating any food that is linked to uh, 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 and that produces glucose. Because at that point in time. The body makes of the body fats, making of ketone bodies. Uh, they are three in number. You have the acetonophetic, three hydroxybutyric, and acetone. At this very point, in our next video, we'll be talking about what now fatty acid oxidation, fatty acid oxidation. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name still remains Andranani the Bazooka Prophet. God bless you.